Hello and welcome back everyone. In today's video I will be comparing the Thunderbird Vector or I believe it's Vector Thunderbird um, pipe lighter versus the Zippo uh, pipe lighter. Now as you can see the Zippo is still in its case and uh, I purchased this particular one from um, from Walmart. We'll be unboxing this shortly and we'll take a look at it. This uh, Vector Thunderbird, however, was a gift uh, from my brother. A long time ago I've had this lighter, but um, I haven't used it. So I thought maybe I should shoot a video about it. Now Thunderbird makes makes really nice lighters. I, I have only one Thunderbird lighter as of now, but I plan to buy more. And as you can see, from the outside it looks very similar to a Zippo. Uh, I'll try to get this close. and. This is this is the Thunderbird, and this is a Zippo. They look very similar. I don't want to say identical because I'm sure someone is going to tell me that they're not identical, but it's damn near identical. Uh, on the bottom here it says Thunderbird. On the bottom of this one it says Zippo. Now I want you to listen to the click of these opening, and there it opens. As you can see, th this is the the per the uh, pipe. Uh, lighting insert and this is a regular uh, Zippo as you can see that it has a similar cam now what you may have noticed is when I open this there's no wick inside and um, and I'm sure you probably know if you're watching it this far that this is actually a butane lighter so when I open this and I flick this light there you go you see this this is a butane, um, a butane flame rather than than the uh, liquid um, lighter fluid. I'm going to show you the insert, and the way that this insert knows when to let the butane gas flow out is via this cam. And when this cam opens up, you can actually see this little lever here. This lever gets pushed down, and like this, with the with the cam up which would be in the case when you have the lid closed there is no flow of butane so I, there's supposed to be no flow of butane but I, I suppose oh there we go there we are it's supposed to be not see held at the at the right place here there should be no flow but once you open up the, the lid there is a flow of butane now um, what I found out, uh, which actually, you know, I'm kind of, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm elaborating f further on these, on these, uh, inserts, is that this insert will actually dimensionally fit inside a Zippo case. And I, I'm going to demonstrate it, demonstrate it here. I tried it a little earlier. It is a snugger fit, but there you go. So if you do have a Zippo lighter that that you like, you can convert it into a uh, vector um, insert. Knowing this, I ordered I ordered a uh, lighter, um, a regular lighter where it looks just like this, but is actually a butane lighter, and it should that should be coming in shortly, and I will shoot a video on that as soon as it does. But now back to our pipe lighter. Here we have the vector, as you saw. It comes with this warranty. It has a, uh, a lifetime warranty certificate. I, I assume it's similar to uh, Zippo's uh, warranty. I'm going to look through it, see what sort of. I you know believe it or not, I haven't looked through that. The case is what I kind of like. There's actually a tin case. I believe I only saw one more other one other Zippo that I own that came in a tin case. Most come in a cardboard case, or in the case of this Walmart one. Um, they are actually this this clamshelled, you know, pressed together thing where you just I usually throw them away. I guess you could retain the bottom part if you have a showcase, which is another thing I have to get. Now I'm going to pause the video real quick, open this up, and um, and also fuel it, and I will we'll get to lighting that. So here we are. I uh, opened up the case and I refueled the lighter. Let's take a look and see uh, what we can see now. Now, one thing I've noticed is that 
this this particular case, this um, brushed chrome, has a tendency of really picking up um, fingerprint smudges. So that's another thing you want to consider. I personally like this. This it's called a street chrome finish. I, this is this is my practically my everyday carry Zippo. So um, so yeah, that's this is the regular Zippo and the pipe Zippo has actually a little pipe logo on the bottom here. Uh, on the bottom there is just the regular stamp. And when we open it up, this is this is the the light. I mean, it, this is a really big flame, um, as you can see. I'm gonna close it for a moment. So we have this big hole with the wick inside, and then there's a few uh, air holes around. And I want to compare that to a regular chimney here. As you can see, there's a one massive hole. So when you light, when you open this up, you would hold this. I suppose the uh, pipe bowl would be here. Let's pretend this is a pipe bowl, and you would smoke it like that. Now, confession time here. Uh, I do not smoke, so I'm I only collect these zippos because they're fun to collect. But I would assume you just light this here and even though the flame is going up the the uh, intake when you inhale it would pull the flame down into the tobacco so if there's any pipe smokers out there you could chime in I suppose the vector does have the advantage that it directionally will cast the flame downwards um, and you know Another thing, of course, always that, that butane lighters have over these liquid fuel lighters is that I find that butane lighters will last longer. You could go and pick up one of these, fuel it up, leave it just on the counter for, you know, a few days, depending on weather conditions, how you store it, and so on and so forth. And then you go to open it up and light it. And it won't light because all the fuel inside has evaporated. Whereas I've had butane lighters that have lasted for years. Naturally, this one we saw that the uh, valve has to be in a in, you know an exact position to hold the fuel in. But regular big lighters have lasted forever for me. You know, you can just leave it somewhere and it'll be fine. Now, the talk around the block is that. This is this lighter is only meant for right-handed people. As you can see, the uh, flash hole is only one-sided, and I suppose a left-handed person would open this up and light it, and they would burn their thumb. I don't know. Personally, I think if if a light right hand uh, left-handed person was to light it, they could just hold it like this and just smoke it like that. I do not know. Again, I'm not left-handed, and I don't smoke, so. That's my comparison of these two. Um, I do like the vector inserts, so I will definitely get the insert, make a video on that, you know, shortly. This is a really nice addition to my collection, this guy, and, you know, these both will be, you know, side by side once I get a showcase. And speaking of my collection, I plan to make a small series of, of lighters that I'll show as part of my collection which ones i like you know i mean i like them all of course but what they what their particular stories are let me know in the comments below if you would be interested in a video like that where i could maybe even showcase the entire collection of zippo lighters i have uh, let me know if you have any questions about these uh, and subscribe to see more videos on zippos knives and you know random reviews and uh, i will see you next time have a good day